Hi YouTube, this is Lori Enlightened in Minnesota. I'm coming here today with my week 19 update. I had Ruin Y Gastric Bypass Surgery on May 30th, 2017 at United Hospital Bariatric Center with Dr. Juan Teixeira Blondette. My starting weight was 279 pounds and my day of surgery weight was 234 pounds. Today I am 193.2 for a loss of just about 86 pounds. So can't be upset about that. Um, I am 50 years old. Uh, my height is five foot four and three quarters. I used to be five five, but I shrunk. And that tends to happen when you get older. Um, I plan to visit WLSFA this year in San Antonio or next year. Um, I can't go to OH this month because I'm going to visit my mom for her 81st birthday. Her birthday is on the 21st of October. So happy birthday, mom. She watches my videos. Um, I had my nails done. See my spider. Let's see. Yeah, these are thermal changing things. If I get cold, they turn dark orange. So I've been having fun with them. It's like a kid with a new toy. I go outside because it's been colder the last few days and they'll change colors when I go outside or go somewhere cold or run them under cold water which I did for an Instagram video um but yeah I'm having fun with that we're having a costume party at the end of the month and um that should be a lot of fun I will actually post pictures of that when that happens um uh, tonight is book club night so gonna have a lot of fun with the ladies uh there were 15 of us last month so it's going to be a great time. I think now that fall is here um, and there's less summer stuff going on, we're going to have a large group each each month. So that's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to shout out some people on here. Uh, Kathleen, um, she had a Ruin Y bypass. Um, Jenny had a VSG. Um, Tina, I think, had a VSG. There are some wonderful people. Corrine had VSG. Um, some of these people, you should look them up. Um, I follow them. I think they're great. And everybody needs a little thumbs up here and there. We all need support. Um, I'm going to be making a video of Keto Fat Head Dough again this week. But I'm going to make cinnamon rolls this time. We're going to do kind of a little brunch instead of a dinner. Um, we have breakfast for dinner quite a bit because you know eggs but I think it would be fun I'm wanting to play around with the keto fat head dough a bit to try different you know ways to enhance it make it taste different um, the rolls that I made last week for the Philly cheesesteak they were really good my husband liked them and uh, that's saying something because he's a real bread person he loves he loves his bread so any time to get him off of the higher carb stuff is great. Um, I started Orange Theory Fitness yesterday. He does Orange Theory Fitness three or four days a week. Um, but he's just maintaining his weight because he does love to eat. Um, but I tried it for the first time and I enjoyed it. It's just uh, I'm getting to know my new body and I know not to eat or have my shake before I go anymore because uh, I really had an issue with the dumping syndrome and I um, had to visit the bathroom in between my cardio workout so I know not to eat ahead of time I just just have some water but anyway I my recipe video will follow I hope you all have a wonderful week I enjoy watching your videos I hope you enjoy watching mine uh, please like and subscribe. Lots of love. Bye. Okay, we're going to start out by doing the keto fat head dough. Right here I've got three and a half cups of mozzarella and I'm going to microwave that along with uh, two ounces of cream cheese. That would be four tablespoons of cream cheese. While that's microwaving, I'm gonna crack two eggs in here and we're gonna mix those up. K 
Okay, to this melted cheese, we're going to add one and a half cups of almond flour. And we're going to mix this right up in here. And along with it, we're going to add a half cup of erythritol. I use um, Swerve, so you can use whatever sweetener you prefer. I just use this because it does really well in baking. So to that, I'm going to add the half cup of the Swerve. And I'm going to mix this up. And then I'm going to mix in the beaten egg. Okay, I've mixed it all together and it's formed like a, a dough. It looks like dough. If it gets too stringy, you can microwave it again for a few seconds. But this is what it'll look like. And I'm just going to use my hands to shape it into a rectangle. You don't want to make it too thin or it won't roll up. So we're going to make it into a nice rectangle and I'm going to use a rolling pin here and just flatten it out a bit. And I'll be right back. Okay, I've got it rolled out in kind of a rectangular shape. You definitely want to use parchment paper underneath so that you have something to grab to roll this up with. I'm going to soften some butter this is uh, half a pound of butter, so half a stick. I use the curry gold butter, or you can use the any any kind of Irish butter is good. Um, but whatever butter you you prefer, it would take a half a stick. Okay, I have the softened butter, and we're just gonna put it on top here and spread it all over the top. And this is um, eight ounces of butter. So to me, that's a half pound of butter, which probably is two sticks. I don't, I think it's two sticks. But when it comes to the um, Irish butters, it doesn't come in the little, you know, sticks. It comes in a big block. So it takes a half a block of the Irish butter, which is probably a full two sticks or stick of the other one. It's eight ounces. So I'm just spreading this all the way to the edges, all over, all that good butter, it's going to be yummy. <laughs> and then on top of this butter, we're going to put the Swerve, or whatever sweetener you choose to use. Um, just with uh, Splenda, Splenda works great, but Stevia if you use a lot of stevia, like this calls for a half cup, um, the stevia will get kind of bitter. So you do want to mix that with another sweetener. And they do have like the Splenda Naturals, which has a mix of Splenda and stevia. I believe that's what it is. Not sure what Swerve is, but this just works really well. So I've got that spread all out. And to the top, I'm going to add cinnamon, just sprinkle it all over the top, and this is two tablespoons of cinnamon, so it's a lot of cinnamon, um, but it's really to taste, so whatever you like um, is just fine. If you like less, that's fine. But I like mine very cinnamony. Now if you get it nice, good, and coated all over, then you will spread the swerve or your sugar substitute right on top of there. This is again a half cup of the sweetener. And we're going to spread that right on top of the cinnamon. And 
And this sweetener is again to taste. If you don't want a whole half cup, which is really sweet, then you can certainly reduce that. I'm just going by the recipe that I found on Pinterest, but I am changing a few things because I do have different tastes myself. Um, and you'll see in the next step what I changed. So I'm putting all this sweetener right on top of here. Seems like a lot of sweetener. And in fact, I don't think I'm gonna use quite all of it. I'm gonna leave a little bit in there. And what you do next is take the edge of the parchment paper and you wanna roll it inward, just like that, and kind of tap down as you go. And see, it'll come apart from there. And then you take it again and you wanna roll it over again, kind of holding it down as you do and peeling back. And take it again and roll that again until you have a roll. And if it comes apart, that's fine. You can kind of tap that back in there. You're gonna see a little bit of it sticking to the parchment and that's normal. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna refrigerate it for about 10 minutes. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna make the icing. We've got four tablespoons of cream cheese. And this is where I changed it a little bit. I'm gonna put um, a teaspoon of orange extract instead of the vanilla extract, because I like the orange cinnamon rolls a lot. So I changed it to my, <laughs> my taste a little bit. And to that, I'm gonna add some Swerve Confectioner's sugar for icing. I think it works a little better to make the icing with. And this is just to taste, so I'm just gonna put a bit in here to start, maybe a third of a cup, and I'll make the icing and stir that up. I'll be right back. Okay, I got them out of the refrigerator, and now you wanna make like 12 cuts. So you have 12 rolls. So I'm gonna kinda of eyeball this first and see what size I need to make these before I cut all the way through. Okay, and I think I did it. So just give them a nice solid cut down and then put them on the cookie sheet. This is my first attempt, so bear with me. It might look messy but that's what the slices will look like. I'm just gonna lay them out on this cookie sheet here that I put parchment paper on. But yeah, refrigerating them, or even putting them in the freezer for a little while will help them set up a little more so they don't fall apart as badly um, when you cut them. So it will help kind of keep them together. And if you need to, you can refrigerate part way through if they seem to get too sticky. But if you work quickly enough, I think you should be okay. So I'm trying to work quickly. But I will put all of these on the cookie sheet and I will be right back. Okay, I have them all cut out and put it on the cookie sheet here. Parchment line cookie sheet. And what I'm gonna do is I've got some pecans here and I'm gonna put some pecans on top because I like nuts. And hey, it adds a lot of healthy fats for keto. So I'm just gonna put a few on each one, not a lot. I'll be right back. Okay, now they're ready to go into the oven at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. You wanna keep an eye on them to make sure they get don't get too done, um, but you want them to brown up. And then after they come out, you wait about five minutes and then ice them, and I'll be right back. Okay, they are out of the oven. They look and smell fantastic. Um, I'm just gonna, put, I waited five minutes and I'm gonna put the icing on top now. So I'm just gonna put a dollop of icing on each one and then spread it around. Just to make sure I hit each one with icing. These look a lot like danishes. So I think if you want to have more of a pinwheel shape, you'd probably need to keep them in a muffin tin. That would be my suggestion. And then may have to cook them a little longer if they are in the muffin tin. But 
they look great and smell even better. And the orange in this icing smells really good. I always was a fan of the orange Pillsbury um, cinnamon rolls. And that's what this reminds me of, the smell. So I put icing on each one. And I'm just going to spread it out using a spoon. Okay, so there's kind of a, let's get a better view of these. There, <laughs> good view, and I'll be right back. Okay, we finished the rest of our little brunch items, and here it is. And they look and smell fantastic. Bon appetit.